You're watching ABC7, where news comes first. Now on Good Morning El Paso. A former Socorro ISD superintendent is in prison this morning. Find out how long she's been sentenced for a recent bribery conviction. It's been more than a month since FEMA launched its COVID-19 funeral assistance program, but thousands of Texans are still waiting to get that relief. We're live to break down all the latest numbers this morning. Plus, we have the latest details on a new bill that would cap the price of insulin in Texas. And in storm track weather. Temperatures will be heating up through the weekend. Right now, we're in the 70s El Paso. I'll let you know when we'll cool things back to seasonal normals in storm track weather. And our cameras may be frozen, but the traffic is not. We're looking okay out there for us here on this early morning drive as we head out the door. Some upcoming construction could trip you up. We'll talk about that, what you need to know, heading out the door. Live, where news comes first, from the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso. Very good Thursday morning, El Paso, Las Cruces, and Juarez. I'm Mauricio Casillas. And I'm Hillary Florin. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. This morning, a former Socorro Independent District Superintendent is facing more than six years in prison for her role in a bribery scheme. Sylvia Atkinson was sentenced yesterday. Back in November, a jury found her guilty of accepting money from private individuals in exchange for helping them get contacts in the Brownsville Independent School District. Next on ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso Weekend. A brutal fight that ABC has been following since last week. Now police have arrested more people that they say are responsible for the serious injuries of two people. What police are telling us now. Plus the six year old dog that was stabbed 29 times and forced to be flown out to Houston for treatment. Now a man has been charged. What we are learning about the suspect. And the weekend holiday is here and everyone is ready to get out and spend time with their loved ones. We'll give you a look at a new attraction coming to the borderland that's fun for the family. And in some truck weather, Andres. We're a little humid this morning. We're tracking the possibility of seeing some storms towards the east. Out west, it's going to stay dry. I have your Memorial Day weekend holiday forecast coming up. This is all the news you need to start your Saturday. ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso weekend starts right now. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso Weekend. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Dylan McKim. Shelby Montgomery has the day off. We start with breaking news. Fire officials are call telling us there was a two vehicle crash in Far East El Paso. Here's where it happened on the map. Fire dispatch tells us it, had, it is a two vehicle crash on the corner of John Hayes and Pebble Hills, as you can see on your screen right there. Live, where news comes first, from the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland, this is ABC 7 at Noon. Good afternoon, thanks for staying with ABC 7 at Noon on air and live online. I'm Madeline Audley. And I'm Nick Patrick, and we are on the ABC 7 Alert Center right now. Following that breaking news, we brought it to you at the top of the hour. El Paso police have just arrested the woman who was caught on camera climbing into the spider monkey enclosure that happened at the El Paso Zoo. Take a look at your screens. Here is that viral video of the incident once again. Next on ABC 7 at 4, the director of two city of El Paso museums arrested and fired. What Vladimir von Surikov is accused of doing. And the woman seen in this viral video entering a spider monkey enclosure at the El Paso Zoo now facing charges from police. And in storm track weather. It was a gloomy day across the borderland, but skies are beginning to clear, which means the heat is on for tomorrow. We'll give you a preview of your holiday forecast coming up in storm track weather. San Jose, California, mourning the deaths of nine people killed in yesterday's mass shooting at a rail yard. The latest on the investigation. And Napoleon's loss is a collector's gain. We'll tell you how much someone paid for this 200-year-old bottle of wine. ABC 74 starts now. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC 7 at 4. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us on air, online, and on your smartphone for ABC 7 at 4. I'm Mark Ross. New at 4, the director of the El Paso Museum of History and Museum of Art has been fired after he was arrested for prostitution. 
According to police, 50-year-old Vladimir von Surikov was arrested yesterday afternoon after he offered to pay for sex with a woman he met online. Next on ABC 7 at 5, she was called stupid and lucky by the El Paso Zoo director. Now it's all catching up to the woman who jumped into the spider monkey enclosure. The latest on where she stands today. You knew what you were doing was wrong and you saw the hurt in my eyes the day you apologized to my face. Only on ABC 7, a child victim speaks out about the inappropriate touching by her high school teacher. More and more people will be traveling this weekend. What you need to know to prepare. And the skies will begin to clear later on this evening and even into tonight. But that means the heat is on for tomorrow as we're tracking plenty of sunshine. I hope you plan your holiday weekend forecast coming up in Storm Track Weather. ABC 7 at 5 starts now. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland, this is ABC 7 at 5. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 5. I'm Stephanie Valle. Eric Elkin has the night off. A Las Cruces teacher accused of touching female students inappropriately has taken a plea deal. Patrick Howard pleaded guilty to get a less severe punishment. He was an agricultural teacher for 25 years at Las Cruces High School. ABC 7's Will Heron has details on the plea deal. It is a story you'll only see on ABC 7. The two charges former teacher Patrick Howard pled guilty to were criminal sexual contact with the minor while in a position of authority and also a battery charge. Next on ABC 7 at 5 weekend. An overnight shooting in West El Paso sends one person to the hospital. What we know about the victim. Also, police making more arrests in the attack that left two people seriously injured outside an East El Paso bar. A look at those suspects involved and in storm track weather. A hot afternoon overall. 97 is our current temperature for El Paso. 94 Las Cruces. What's in store for the rest of your weekend? We'll talk about it coming up. They were my teachers. Every single day, they were my teachers. Plus, remote learning created new challenges for many, while putting schooling into a new perspective for others. Next, how one teacher is going above and beyond for her students. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland, this is ABC 7 at 5 Weekend. Well, a very good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. I'm Iris Lopez in for Kate Beery. And I'm JC Navarrete. Well, ABC 7 with breaking news. One man is in the hospital after being shot overnight near a bar in West El Paso. El Paso police say it happened just before 1.30 this morning at the Grams Corner Bar. And that's just off Mesa and Sunland Park. Next on ABC 7 at 6, the woman police say breached the spider monkey exhibit at the El Paso Zoo is arrested. ABC 7 cameras are rolling as she's let out of jail. It's expected to be another busy traveling holiday weekend, but the airport is doing to prepare. And when I came to you upset one day about a family issue, all you could think about and all you could talk about was how you had touched me inappropriately the day before. He slapped her on the buttocks with his hand and said, see you later. Only on ABC 7, a 25-year veteran Las Cruces High School teacher is sentenced after admitting to inappropriately touching female students, but he does not show his face in court. And in Stormtrack weather, Andres. Well, those clouds begin to clear on towards the east, which means plenty of sunshine for tomorrow. Allowing our temperatures to crank up, we'll be talking all about it, as plus your holiday forecast coming up. ABC 7 at 6 starts now. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland, this is ABC 7 at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 6. I'm Stephanie Valle. Eric Elkin has the day off. El Paso police arrested the woman they say breached the spider monkey exhibit at the El Paso Zoo. Video of the incident was posted on social media Saturday and quickly went viral. Police arrested 26-year-old Luz Elizabeth Ray this morning. The charge, criminal trespass. She was booked into the El Paso County Jail under a $1,500 bond. Next on ABC 7's 10 at 10. Miss Ray. That's the woman charged with trespassing at the El Paso Zoo after getting out of jail today. She was recorded in the spider monkey exhibit feeding the animals. We'll tell you what she told us when we confronted her. 
Plus, we'll tell you why the director of the El Paso Museums of History and Art was arrested, charges he faces. Plus, our first look at the migrant facility for children at Fort Bliss. The conditions inside, according to El Paso Congresswoman Veronica Escobar. Extra depth on changes that are helping COVID vaccine vaccination efforts across the country. We'll tell you what vaccine providers are now allowed to do. Doppler. All right, here's what we're looking at. Temperatures going to get hotter as we make our way towards the upcoming holiday weekend. Rain chances continue to be in the forecast. We'll talk about when we could see the rain. What's our chances coming up? Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC 7 at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7's 10 at 10. I'm Saul Sainz. And I'm Stephanie Valle. Eric Elkin has the night off. And we begin with an El Paso woman seen in a video feeding monkeys at the zoo now out of jail. She faces charges for this incident and was arrested today. The video went viral when it was posted on the popular Instagram page FitFam. And the story made national headlines. The woman got into the spider monkey exhibit last Saturday. FitFam profile managers say she was feeding the monkeys hot Cheetos. Zoo officials had told ABC7 that they would be pressing charges. Police announced she was taken into custody today, and this is her arrest photo. They resume in person at 100% capacity. I was intimidated, but we just jumped in with both feet, all of us. Adapting to learning in the pandemic next, how COVID-19 changed her te teaching method for good and in storm track weather. Well, our temperatures today, no triple digits, but we did see a few, uh, a few degrees above average for this afternoon. We'll talk more about what's in store for the week ahead coming up. Plus, we are keeping you ahead on any delays on the highway. Next, we're going to take a look at traffic alerts that have been backing up I-10. ABC 7 at 10, weekend starts now. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC 7 at 10, weekend. Well, a very good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Iris Lopez in for Kate Beery. And I'm Jason Navarrete. New at 10, all El Paso Catholic churches will be able to open at 100% capacity starting June 1st. The Catholic Diocese of El Paso announced that today it will be moving to its next phase of reopening. They will no longer limit the number of parishioners who can attend Sunday and weekday masses, weddings, funerals, baptisms, and other sacraments. Masks will continue to be enforced for all indoor gatherings. Next on ABC 7 at noon. A new debate over the origins of COVID-19. More scientists are not ruling that the virus originated in the lab setting. We'll explain. Plus, recovery research. How long those who've had COVID-19 can expect to have an antibody protection? And overnight, a ninth victim has died from injuries suffered during that mass shooting that happened in San Jose. What we're learning about the suspect and the connection to those victims. Plus, a bipartisan infrastructure plan could soon be in the works. How close Republicans are to the president's original plan. Mostly cloudy skies in the forecast for today and warm temperatures again for Van Horn at 95. Also tracking 95 Dale City and 90 Sierra Blanca. Coming up, we'll be taking a look at that weekend forecast. Live, where news comes first. This is ABC7 with breaking news. Very good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here on ABC7 at noon, both on air and live online. I'm Nick Patrick. And I'm Madeline Audley. We begin this hour out of our ABC7 Alert Center following breaking news. El Paso police have just arrested the woman who was caught on camera climbing into a spider monkey enclosure at the El Paso Zoo. Take a look. This is that viral video of that incident. Police made the announcement they arrested Lucy Ray just after 11 o'clock this morning.